In this lecture, we will start creating skeleton of our page with Bulma. In the meantime, I will be showing you how to use some features of Bulma in order to modify our content, appearance, such as colors, sizes, and layouts. Let's start with section. From documentation page of Bulma.io, let's go to layout, section, and copy this first example to our VS Code app.js return function and inside divs let's put our section currently our, our page looks like this instead of section class definition let's write hero and is full height let's see if our page is one page we successfully created our one page example however our section or our title looks a little bit on top of our page let's go to title and let's break elements let's insert some break elements and let's go back we successfully created our one page look with section using this class name hero and is full height whenever you write is full height and hero to your section class name Bulma created this look for your page that it looks like this let me show you this if you place your footer after section you will get this one page without footer at first because it's just a section which appears as a full page in order to in order to see your footer you need to scroll the page like this however we don't want that we just want our page look like one page application and footer under the page like this let me correct it as before instead of section class definition let's write hero and is full height let's see if our page is one page we successfully created our one page example however our section or our title looks a little bit on top of our page let's go to title and let's break elements let's insert some break elements and let's go back we successfully created our one page look with section using this class name hero and is full height Whenever you write is full height and hero to your section class name, Bulma created this look for your page that it looks like this. Let me show you this. If you place your footer after section, you will get this one page without footer at first because it's just a section which appears as a full page in order to in order to see your footer you need to scroll the page like this however we don't want that we just want our page look like one page application and footer under the page like this let me correct it as before
Now our next step is to fill these columns. We need three columns and before three columns we will we will place our buttons like this after the title. Let's see how to do that. Let's go to Bulma documentation page again and see in documentation you will see these columns. Let's go with basic example. Let's copy these lines. And before closing this container div tag, let's place our columns. Let's format the page with prettier and we will get this look. Right now we have container and inside container we have this titles and subtitle and then columns and then footer. However, before these columns we will show our buttons. Let's write div container and write for now just write buttons. Let's change our footer with our own content which is Sudoku game with react 2019. Let's see our page. Right now this page looks a little bit narrow. It's It has a lot of paddings or margins on the sides. So let me quickly show you how to fix that. Instead of class name container, in addition to container, we will use, let me put this one on the side. This is our big container class. And instead of leaving it like this, let's add class of is fluid. This makes our page looks like wider on the screen and it is still responsive of course and after these points it will be horizontally and then vertically aligned and now horizontally now vertically now our page is better actually we don't need this fourth column if you look at our finished up project we will have three columns and in the end of the columns, last column, we will have two columns, actually two rows. And let me show you how to manage that. Let's go to VS Code and let's delete this one. In order to do that, inside third column, let's go and actually copy all of these columns inside third column. Let's write it like this and delete this third column. As you can see right now, let me factor it. Right now we have columns. Inside columns we have two columns, three columns. And inside one of those columns, the last one, we have another columns and then two columns. Let's see what we get. First column, second column and then first and second column. However, we don't want them to align horizontally. We want them to align vertically. In order to do that, let's go to VS Code and below these columns, let's write div row. This makes it 
elements inside to look vertically aligned. Control Shift I. As you can see, now we have first, second, and then third column. And inside third column, we have first and second columns. Exactly like this. Later, we will add this input. But it's not that a big deal. Let's add one more div here for input box. Let's say input box here. Now our skeleton is ready and in the next lecture we will start creating our components and then using these placeholders it will be very easy to get our layout or architecture because our skeleton is ready. Whenever we create our component named for example if we are creating first column in this case this will be our board component so let's write board component for now and the second one will be game info and first column inside third column will be actually row inside third column will be analysis of the game and then later below analysis we will have let me see number of salt it's just a actually we can place it somewhere else but let's leave it like this number of salt we can name it of course something else like extra in for something but for now let's leave it like this number of salt and then input box buttons footer is ready let's see what else we need game info board we have buttons let's see our page with our new placeholders board buttons game info and these three rows here whenever we, we are ready to create whenever we finished our components we will place them inside these places and we will see how to do that in the next sections thanks for watching see you in the next lecture